Brett Subjation here with uh, Crusaders TV, joined by goaltender Eric Kroost. Uh, of course, you're not wearing a letter, but you are looked at as one of the leaders on this team. So how do you motivate uh, the team after, uh, after a tough loss like that to a tough team on the first night of a back-to-back -back game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we had a slow start, but um, I think we hung in there for the rest of the 50 minutes of the game. So I think, um, yeah, like we have no reason to think that they're a better team than us. We we uh, stuck with them and just got to carry that last 50 into the next game tomorrow. And a uh, tough loss to a tough team, like I said, but uh, what are some positives that you uh, that you think the team gained from that, uh, from that loss? Well, I think um, just putting together a full 60, like you see when we come out slow the first 10 and they pot too. So like that's, and then like the second one's the game winner. So that's just how the game goes. Like you never really know when the, when the next big play is going to be, so, um, or the game decider. So, um, yeah, I think just making sure that we can put together a full 60 next game. Perfect. Thank you very much. Goaltender Eric Roost and Brett Subchition for Crusaders TV. Brett Subchition here with Crusaders TV, joined by defenseman Cole Asaley. You are donning one of the A's for the Crusaders. Uh, what do you say to the boys after a tough loss to a tough team like that? You know, I think we just need to take the positives out of it. Obviously, we had a tough start there, um, gave up a few few goals at the start and I think we kind of came back and, and battled through it. Um, obviously we had a couple injuries today and a couple uh, hits that I guess uh, took some of our guys out and I think it, it's just the mindset to keep going. Uh, we got a big game tomorrow so stick to that. And uh, talking about the loss you did talk about the positives. What are some of the positives that you the team can take away from a loss like this? Yeah for sure. I think uh, during this week we did a lot of breakouts in defensive zone and I think that uh, really showed today. We were pretty good in our D zone. We didn't really give them too much. Obviously there was just a couple uh, turnovers that caused some goals, but I think our D zone was pretty good today. Perfect. Thank you very much. Defenseman Cole Saley and Brett Subchishan for Crusaders TV.